Hey y'all, Dave here, Double Hook Angling. How y'all doing today? Well, this last few weeks, I've dealt with so much stuff. You know how life it is. My air conditioner started to get weak. Wasn't doing its job because it got hot in Kansas. So, they decided that my system was so old and been repaired so many times that maybe we should just put in a new one. So, that's kind of what we're doing. Well, it's done, and now it's frosty in my house. So, but it's almost a hundred degrees outside. I, uh, I, I just, you know, it's just been awful hot. <laughs> and this next eight days is supposed to be a hundred degrees every day. I mean, weird. You know, with this heat wave we got going through the middle of the country right now is nuts. So, but anyways, I, uh, I've been watching Jay at Jay's outdoors you know or jay is outdoors and he ties bucktails man he ties some nice bucktails i uh i've been watching him trying to get some stuff going him and i are doing a collaboration video more to come on that so you know hopefully that's okay to say something at this point but um uh we'll, we're we're working on things so i uh He's been helping me out a lot too. He's he's got you know the video stuff down pretty good, and and he's the one that does the picture in picture stuff that I like. So I kind of want to do that. I know it's hard to see my jig and uh, my flies. Sometimes I try to you know lift them up and show you guys, but you know it is what it is. So, but we're doing some bucktail stuff, and this one's pretty gnarly. My dog got a hold of this back in the day. I used to have a dog named Daisy May. And my pickup truck's actually named Daisy May after that dog because that dog was so loyal. You know, she'd come, she wouldn't run off, she'd stay around you. I mean, it's a farm dog, and she was part Border Collie, so she had real good manners. But she did get into my bucktails one time and shredded the tar out of them. So I got a bag of tore up tails that I get into once in a while, and it just makes me think of her. So fond memories. But, and on top of that, I'm getting a new puppy. My son's dog is Doberman. She had puppies. So I'm getting one of those puppies, and that's going to be my new service dog. So it be a couple of years of training her to do what I want, but, you know, we'll get started on her as soon as we get her next week. And she's just a little puppy. She's like eight pounds or something. She's cute as a bee. So you guys will get to see her. I'll, 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 she'll be in a video or two, I'm sure. I'm going to start. So she is going to be my service dog. I'm going to start taking with her, me with her everywhere, socializing her. You know, she's a Doberman, so people will be a little intimidated, I'm sure, but... They won't have nothing to fear. She will be, she will be as gentle as can be. I'm not one of those crazy guys that are just gonna call my dog a service dog and take it where I want to. My dog actually will be a registered, fully trained beast. She will be. Anyways. Cut off a little bit of bucktail, and this stuff's got some scragglers, so I'm going to get rid of those long scragglers in my trash sack over here. Take and stack this in your stacker. Get it all worked in there. Get it down in there. Some didn't make it. Then we're going to do tamping, and this might cause a little bit of a tamping earthquake. Maybe a beat on it too much sometime. Okay. That's still got some long scraggler curly ends. That bucktail just, you know, as old as it is, it's just been stored improperly, I'm sure. I don't know how you get all this out of here without sitting here and taking out piece by piece and trying to retain i just like i said i'm new to bucktails so we're learning together here guys i've literally probably only tied 100 bucktails in my life and 30 of them was last week because i tied up bucktails for some friends one guy took them out and boy he's catching some nice walleye he likes them because they stand up he just wanted something different and so we gave it a shot so that's not too bad we'll go with that now, go ahead, ridicule me. Tell me if I'm doing it wrong, because I probably am. I need to I need to learn like the rest of us. So your comments will teach others too. 
if they're rude that's fine i know how to ignore them it is a free country you can say what you want we do have the first amendment a lot of people think these days we probably don't don't mean to get political but that's how it is so give this a good wrap get her tight and deer hair will want to spin and twist and uh this is kind of how i do it now since this hook let's show you guys there's a few things here okay this hook since it's a ned rig hook it's got this piece and then goes back up well the reason why i did this is because these ned rigs like i said they stand straight up see that but also you got you got that hook you can hide a minnow down in there and the minnow will be inside the skirt and not on top of the skirt and i think that's better even even a leech will stick out a little bit better but uh the guy was just using these straight up but get your hair down there maybe i should have stuck a little glue or something in there but i'm gonna put some on the outside here okay Now, deer hair, you don't want to pull too tight because it'll flare like a hula skirt, which I usually make it do. Okay. Now, get a little bit of a... There you go. Now, I don't have any glue, so I stole my wife's fingernail polish. Works fine for me. Probably not proper, like I said, but... I'll put some up in there. That'll help lock that deer hair in a little bit. I wish I had some UV glue, but it seems like everybody and their cousin's out. You can't. I tried to order some online. It said, out of stock. What are you going to do? So, wrap that on there a little bit. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to put some flash in there. So, get... Four pieces of that, a little bit of flash of boot tinsel, whatever you call it. Okay, a few pieces of that, kind of hard to see, but there it is. And we'll tie that on there. Lock that down. Lock that down. Now this new Dobie puppy I'm getting, yeah, I'm going to... She's going to be fully trained, you know, um, I'm going to go take her to classes. I'm going to do most of the training myself. My parents way back in the day when I was a kid had Dobermans. I mean, I remember they were such good dogs. We had one that was a little bit rough, but, you know, that was us kids pinching his tail when he's trying to eat and do all those things that we shouldn't do to a dog. Um, And, you know, it, it bit us a couple times, but we deserved what we got. Now, today, in today's day, you know, it's a little different. People don't think that way, but... You know, she, this dog will be a service dog. She won't bark. She won't growl. She'll just do her job. And if she does do any of that stuff, well, she'll get left at home. I will be responsible, for, trust me. But I'm getting old enough now where I'm having trouble getting up hills and things like that. And just a service dog would be such a benefit. But I'm not going to spend $15,000 to $20,000 on a service dog for one thing. I don't have the money. We just had to get a new air conditioner and that was bad enough you know so but get that all pulled out of there i'm going to put more on there because i don't think that's enough and i like to put that sparkle that little bit of more earthquake going on a little bit of that uh, flash of boo in there but go check out jay is outdoors on uh, YouTube, you know, you're already on it. Go check his channel out. He does way better at this than I do. But like I said, let me know, ridicule me, tell me what I'm doing wrong. We gotta learn this stuff together, people. And how do you how do you learn? You do something. Well, if you do something 10,000 times, you're a master at it, even if you don't have a degree. But if you only do something five times, well. Even if you got that degree, you ain't no master. You're just somebody that did it five times. I don't care if you got a degree or not. But when you've done that process 10,000 times, well, maybe you will be a master. So. And then wrap the tar out of it.
probably a waste of thread. But, you know, some guys I see when they make these collars, these collars are really big. But how do you get the collar really big without just putting so much bulky hair in it or or wrapping, you know, just wrapping the tar out of it? I, me, myself, I, on Ned Rig Jig, it's not going to matter. The biggest thing is, is when you're fishing rocks, this thing will stand up and it just, it, it, might, it just seems to do better. Now, you fish big enough rocks, it'll probably just fall right down between the cracks like every other jig, but, you know. But anyways, guys, this is my version of, of a Ned Rig Bucktail, and I don't, you know, I it works fine. It works great. I like it. You know, it'll work on other things besides just walleye. But this is, like I said, you know, they stand up on their, their head. See, moving around, it just wants to come back. So this one's got a little bit of a, that, that bend in that hook wants to make them stand up a little bit on the back. Got to part its way, right? There we go. There, finally. Anyways, that's my video for the week. Like I said, guys, I'm sorry I've been gone for a minute, but these, this program and computer stuff is just baffling to me. And I think I got it. And then all of a sudden I erased the whole thing instead of just the little clip I wanted and, you know, maybe I need to pay a little bit more attention. But, hey, guys, remember, like, subscribe. Thanks for listening to me rant. When I get my new puppy home, I'll show you guys. You know, I'll pick her up and show you. So, she's she's adorable right now. She'll be a pain in the butt for a little while. I rather she's a toddler. You know how puppies are. So, this will be a fun time. I, I won't be so bored now. So, hey, guys, go tie something. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me rant. It, it's good to be back on. You know, I just... Like I said, I get this program figured out and I get it to where you can see the jig better down here, up here, or whatever. And I get you some more fishing videos going. It's just been real busy. And this whole next week is going to be hot. So I'm going to be inside. I'm going to try to get some of the, you know, I got two more videos that I want to make of fishing. We'll get them to you guys. Hey guys, take care easy. Bye.